Kotao once again did not disappoint as I had an amazing time out here on the island. I've been blessed with good weather during the last half of my stay and I definitely made the most out of it. But now I'm off to another tropical destination here in Southern Thailand, Krabi. <laughs> I tried coming here early, but the lady up front said I couldn't pick my seat because apparently everyone had already picked it for some reason. And I'm sleeping right here, right in the middle. And there's not much, I mean, there's headroom, but like when you stand up, there isn't much headroom. You have to literally crawl like to just get through. And I'm right on the middle. And I asked her twice if I could change it not doable so i'm gonna have to deal with this for the next god knows how long but i'll show you what the sleeper fairy looks like they're just loading a bunch of stuff right now and this is the upstairs look at this it's so much better up here you know what i mean but no this is apparently all fully booked. And so I gotta be down here. Nice. Love that for me. Look at this. Welcome to my five star luxury accommodation. It's just one night, hopefully. I've never done this before. Definitely, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight to be honest. I just don't know. It is what it is though. <sighs> it is what it is. This has got to be the tiniest sandwich beds ever. made it to Krabi and whew, I don't know where to begin about last night. Well, first and foremost, I got a sleeper ferry and I got placed in probably, I wouldn't say like the worst spot, but it essentially is because I was placed downstairs and I came really, really early, two hours before the ferry actually took off. Just because the people that I met in Koh Tao, they told me, oh yeah, if you take the sleeper ferry, if you go there early enough, once you check in, they let you pick your bed. And so I got there early for that main reason. And when I got there, the lady that was checking me in, she, would, she said that, oh, all these beds upstairs have already been picked. The bed upstairs, it's ideal just because you have a lot of head i don't know it's just much nicer you know you're not having to crawl in and out of your bed the space it was really really tiny and you're like getting cozy with a person with a stranger next to you the entire night essentially but barely got any sleep for one for that reason the second reason is it was the mattress that they had they were literally this thin it, it it's like I don't know I just couldn't do it I was laying on my back and my back started hurting I laid on my side and then my head I don't complain too much but I'm just being real this is this is what I went through and the boat left at 9 it arrived in Surathani which is uh, two hours away from Krabi where I'm at right now and it was about a good eight hour ferry ride. I barely had any sleep, I think. I slept for a good maybe three hours or so tops and that's, it was it was a tough night, but low key, it was, 
it was actually low key fun to be honest and just to say that you did it because I've taken the sleeper trains and the overnight sleeper buses here in Thailand many many times and those are you know a hundred times more comfortable than the sleeper ferry and you know the sleeper ferry is something that I know there's nicer sleeper ferries available but for some reason I don't know I just ended up with that one and that's the first and that's definitely I'm hoping that's the last time I take it here in Thailand because uh, if there was another option I'd definitely do it but that was the only option for me there was another option there was an eight hour option again but it was around daytime and it was from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something but that one tends to be fully booked at least one week's out and I should have booked it but I didn't know it was it's another I mean I didn't know it was gonna be you know fully booked many people leaving Kotao going to Surathani Krabi but uh, yeah that one's typically fully booked one week out and I did see one but I don't know if I was willing to stay another week or so in Koh Tao just because yeah I mean it's it's a tiny island as well so that said I am here in Krabi for the remainder of the day I just rested up just because of that exhausting trip and it was raining the entire time as well so it was a pretty uneventful day so why don't we just fast forward to the next day when I moved to Ao Nang which is situated on the coast here in Krabi And it took about 30 minutes by car to get here from where I was at, which is, I believe, called Krabby Town. Krabby is actually massive. I was just, before checking in, I got her a bit early so I couldn't really check in uh, just yet. And I was doing a bit of research in terms of what to do here. And aside from the islands, which is, you know, Ao Nang is a good base to be in, there's other things such as viewpoints, temples, that's really, really far. I say like 30 minutes to over an hour or so. And Krabi is massive. Like I said, I've never been here before, but yeah, I, I, I had starred all of the things that I wanted to do on Google Maps so that it's, you know, I know where to go. And I, I kind of checked off the places that I want to see. And so that's set. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna be doing is maybe I'll stay in Ao Nang for I don't know how long and then just because it's a good base, you're close to the water, there's more stuff here I think that's easily accessible by by foot because I don't know if I'm gonna be renting a scooter the entire, the entire time I'm here but I uh, yeah I, I don't know I am then I think once I'm down in Ao Nang I'll go back to Krabby Town to to base myself there to kind of see all of the other stuff closer to that area instead of going back and forth but yeah like i said this is where i'm gonna be staying at i got i don't know why they gave me two beds i don't know it is what it is one's for my camera gear and one's for myself and this is the view it's fairly nice out really close to the water as well i think it's literally a two minute walk or something that way so I'm gonna sort out the logistics today, like I said. I'm gonna try to see how much the scooters are here on a daily. I don't know if I'm gonna be renting a scooter the entire time I'm here, just because everything is within walking distance. I'm gonna go check out a couple of Muay Thai gyms, as well as a, a normal gym, where I could just lift weights and hash out, not really hash out, just because I've already done that, but sort of somewhat plan what I want to do in the next coming days. I also need some downtime as well, just to catch up on some editing and some work and all that stuff. you know what it's a nice sunny day and you know I'm gonna go eat by the water which is over there then it started raining when I got my order so now I'm sitting here on this random hotel's patio or uh, whatever entrance having my pad thai I hope it stops soon because uh, 
I walk quite a bit away from where my hotel is, and I got camera gear with me. That, anyways, nonetheless, I'm gonna have my pad thai at this random hotel. I am back at my place, and as you can see, it's raining once again and after lunch actually the sun came out so I, I was like damn okay I'm ready to you know enjoy the day I roamed around for a bit and then it started raining I don't know what I'm gonna do now I can't really do much I am along the coast and a lot of the activities here I mean preferably it would be nicer if it was sunnier but I obviously can't because it's raining so damn hard. And I was asking the people here who's been here for a while earlier and I asked them, has it been like this the past week or you know, consistently the past few days? And they said, no, no, just yesterday and today. And I'm like, damn, of course, of course, when I get here, that's when it starts to rain. <laughs> the weather, just changed to it being sunny all of a sudden it's sunny and i'm from vancouver and it's just like i get it but at the same time it's wild man like how it can just go raining one second and the next second it can just be hot and sunny once again but when i was packing my stuff as you can see i was ready to go and then the sun decided to come out I headed upstairs and there's actually a nice viewpoint of the beach of Aonang Beach and the limestone cliffs and uh, here why don't we go up there I'll, I'll show you how gorgeous this view is from from the rooftop <laughs> look at this you got the beachfront right there got the water over on that end, you got the limestone cliffs on this side. Look at this view. The clouds had rolled in again and it looks like it's gonna be raining once again. It is what it is. I'm gonna do some work, but the shots and the views from upstairs was just, mm, it was amazing. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be raining for the rest of the day. And then we're entering it, we're heading into about 5, 6 p.m. So I think into the night, it's still gonna be raining. It is what it is. Oh well, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, tomorrow is a much nicer day, you know? Weather-wise, weather-wise. It's raining like crazy out there. I just don't know if you can see that. I don't need to prove it. It's raining. It's been raining the entire, the entire evening. And I just grabbed dinner. I headed out to just walk around town. And uh, I also bought a couple of things at Watson's because they have Watson's here, which is really cool. I got some, you know, some essentials, obviously. But, uh, and then yeah, after that, I went to grab some dinner. And I've just been editing because it's been raining. That's kind of like my setup over there. I have the table and then charging my laptop right now but just been editing youtube videos i uh you know i was just thinking about it it's it's crazy because you know youtube has been something that i obviously started a long time ago for me i just i just like sharing my travels whoever is watching it and it's also nice to look back at my own travels and and to watch that and so yeah it'll be nice to get more subs more likes more follows and all that stuff but I think for me, it's just, it's really nice to, you know, document my travels and then share it online to whoever wants to see it. So big shout out to you if you're watching this, give this video a like already because I do work hard to get these videos out even when I'm out on the road. And 
you know, aside from that, aside from working hard, you know, I actually enjoy making these videos. So nonetheless, I think I'm gonna just call it a night here. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm just gonna have a low key night because it's raining and uh, have an early one tomorrow. I don't know what the plan is tomorrow, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Hopefully, it is it is much nicer tomorrow. Uh, I might hit up the beach or and take some shots there. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm actually gonna hash that out right now in terms of what I'll be doing the next couple of days here. So uh, I think this vlog is might be too short. I don't know, but I might combine uh, today's vlog and tomorrow's vlog. I might have combined, depending on editing RJ, I might have combined three vlogs already, but who cares? It's about 6 a.m. right now and I woke up a couple of hours ago because I wanted, well, I had somewhat planned my next few days here in Krabi because I wanted to catch a sunrise and go on island tours and all that stuff. But because it is monsoon season, which, you know, this is something I expected, it is raining right now really, really hard and... I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the sunrise at the beach because, yeah, look at this. So, I had made all of these kind of like things I wanted to do. These island tours and I wanted to do the sunrises. I wanted to go up to these viewpoints and these temples and I mean, I guess I still could, but it's just, it's not gonna be the same. And in fact, some island tours are not, might be canceled or something because of if there's a storm coming. And I just Googled, I also Googled the weather for this week. And of course, there's just thunderstorms and thunder showers and all that good stuff happening here in Krabi. And so I'm trying to reevaluate what I wanna do, but I I just don't know what to do at the moment because it's it's monsoon season, you know. I got myself some breakfast because uh, yeah, went to 7-Eleven. There's a buffet at this hotel, but they're not even open yet because it's too early. I think they open at like I don't think they open till eight, and it's only like 6:30. I got 7-Eleven because 7-Eleven is 24-7, you know what I mean? So I got some, I got a couple of toasties. I got two actually, having a big breakfast. I got myself a cappuccino and uh, clearly still raining outside based on, on my fit, but I'm gonna enjoy breakfast. And uh, I think I'm just gonna be doing Muay Thai this week. I'm gonna be, I saw a couple of Muay Thai gyms in the area. I'm not sure if I should do it here in Aonang, which is um, closer to the beach, or go into Krabi Town. But then my plan is I actually wanna go to Rayleigh and to get to Rayleigh, I don't even know. The weather is literally, I made plans I made notes in terms of what I want to do and the weather just kind of screws it up because yeah the island tours I mean I'm, I'm on I'm on the beach a lot of the stuff that I want to do here is based on like it's water activities essentially you know and it's tough when it's it's raining this much and it's monsoon season after breakfast I hopped onto my laptop because I wanted to see the the Muay Thai gyms here and I already have an idea just because I did my research prior to coming here but I want to look at the the gyms again see the pricing list as well as uh, their the schedule for training and there's four or five main ones here there's Bull Muay Thai, Honor Muay Thai, K Max and I forget the other ones uh, Kun Suek I'm probably pronouncing mispronoun mispronouncing that Emerald Muay Thai is another one, but anyways, those are the main gyms here in in Krabi. And then I was just like, you know what? I, I want to see if there's anything else because this is all the blogs, all the YouTube videos that I've watched. These are the only ones that people were talking about. And then I came across this one gym very randomly 
it is called PJ Muay Thai and basically it's it's a guy and I think a couple of his colleagues but he was like a southern champion or something here in Thailand at one point and has had a lot of knockouts apparently and I just saw a, a bunch of reviews and it, nobody talks about it and his gym looks raw AF like it's just it's not one of the main gyms here that's for sure he uses old equipment and but he seems to have a lot of clientele which is really good and apparently the the training the experience that you get out of it more importantly is is amazing this is based on reviews from foreigners that have gone to this gym and so i think i think i'm gonna go check out this gym today i'm not gonna train muay thai today but definitely tomorrow if all checks out and i want to see i just want to see and also i want to give him exposure because if you look at his photos i i mean they're not the greatest i mean it's cute and everything like the selfies are are amazing but he doesn't have the nicest photos and you know i i i'm into like you know helping brands and and creating content for them and you know if i train there you know not only will i be supporting um his services but I'll also be creating hopefully getting some exposure for him in the gym you know because yeah like i said it's it's been the top five main gyms here and and krabby is is that and then you don't really hear about pj muay thai and so i think i'm gonna go check this out today and uh hopefully start training tomorrow and and start you know just giving him photos and videos perhaps potentially for free and giving him exposure as well by you know talking about it on, on my YouTube videos or Instagram and all that stuff because he it's a small gym and it's actually it's still here in Aonang but it's I just googled it it's actually a 20 minute walk away from here which is not that bad that that's doable but I mean I it's just so random so I'm on my way to PJ Muay Thai right now and uh I'm high key excited to check out this gym not gonna lie So I just met the guy and he was saying there's two group uh, sessions, which is for 300 baht. And then the private session is 500 baht, which is fairly inexpensive considering we're in Krabi. And this is the gym that looks grungy area, but I like it. I think I'm going to do maybe one group or like a couple of groups and then do one private for sure. So I just got to the gym. Oh my god, to get here, I was literally soaking wet. Look at this. But still, I got soaked because it's raining that hard. After working out, it was practically raining the entire day. So I just had a low key day. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. You already know what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's vlog.